This video clip will show you how to add gravity effects to your model. So gravity is included up here um, under inertia. So I see I'm selected in the solution um, in, in the analysis settings and I see inertia loads up here and I can apply accelerations or rotational velocity, so say centrifugal uh, forces. Or in this case, I just want to apply standard earth gravity. So I select that and we see it says geometry is all bodies. Um, it has a coordinate system, so a global, global coordinate system, x, y, z. And now I can look at the directions of this. Um, here it says the negative z direction. Now, that actually isn't what we want in this case, since we've ordered our model with y um, related to this gravity. So I can just drop that down, say negative y. Um, I can also see over here in the tabular data, I have a uh, values here and I could actually edit those too if I wished. Um, but now I have gravity applied so let's resolve the model. One thing I point out to you too is you have warning messages that popped up and I can see those again if I click on here I can double click on them um, and this abbreviation here, RMB, stands for right mouse button. Um, so if I right click on it, I have go to object. And it'll tell me, okay, this is the one um, that it's concerned about. Um, then we can come down and we can look and, and see what our uh, reaction forces are. And open up and again just see all the different stresses that were input for this model. And in your case, you would probably you would want to extract some values to compare to other cases. Uh, this one has a little different boundary conditions than you might normally be using. Um, so these results, in particular graph, may not be what you would see, but uh, the principle in applying the gravity the inertial loads to get gravity uh, is will help you be able to do that comparison if you'd like to.